Hello, this is Lino Tadros from Falafel Software. In this video, we'll show you how to record a session for testing an iPhone in sort of C-Test and also use the code generated in sort of Test Complete to run your test from that point forward. So let's go ahead and get started. I have here C-Test Studio open on, uh, on my machine. I have my, um, my iOS uh, ready. I already added that. If you don't know how to do that, see a previous video on Vimeo. Uh, from our channel for mobile for Falafel software. I'm going to turn on the device and there is the device emulator is running and I have my device in my hand using my USB. Whatever I'm going to do to uh, the device will show up there right away. So I'm going to push the button. There it is. It's running and I'm going to go ahead and show you this application that Falafel has and that application actually is called Event Board to help companies and organizations for conferences so that their attendees know how to uh, to access all the sessions by speakers and so on. So as you can see here, the application has a lot of different conferences going on right now. Anyway, let's go ahead and get back to the uh, main screen of my device and I'm going to start um, recording. So when we click on record in here, I'm going to do something pretty simple. We we'll click on the event board application and we'll click on the Silicon Valley Code Camp which is happening in October. You will get all the sessions. You can actually now see them, uh, all the sessions of the conference, your favorites by speaker. Let's click, for instance, in by speaker. And that will go, and you can now see all the speakers. You can click on each and every one of them to see what they're speaking about and, and all that good stuff. Let me go ahead and close this, uh, the script or stop the script right now. And notice what actually got recorded for us. It hooks up to the uh, to the application title on the iOS USB device. It also looked for the image for the uh, event board application on the main screen. No matter where it is, it will find it on that screen. And then it looked for this image that looked like Silicon Valley Code Cam. Again, you can actually recognize this by image or by using an OCR to choose how you'd like to read this specific text. So there is some text you can recognize using an OCR or you can look for this image on the screen as well. And finally, it looked for that image that says by speaker. Um, again, instead of doing it by image, you can always do it by OCR, which we will show in a different video later on. Alrighty, just to make sure everything is working correctly, let me go ahead and run this. I'm going to start my, uh, my device here in my hand. You can see exactly what I'm doing um, in the emulator as well. And we are right now on the main screen again. Just to make sure everything will work correctly, let's run the script right inside of C test. And as you can see, it will click and we'll click on the by speaker and the test will be 100% successful as you can see in here. And a full report will be written out in the index.html for the test, taking screenshots of every single step that you took in here in your, um, in your test. So that's great. Now let's go ahead and see what we need to do to get this to run from test complete, for instance. Notice at the bottom in here there is a code tab. We're going to click on the code tab in here. And you can select from any of these great tools whether you want to do this with JUnit 4, JUnit 3, C Sharp for any unit, or if you want to run it in Visual Studio itself using MS Test, writing the code in C Sharp, you can do that. If you're a user of QTP, you can do this with VB Script. And as you can see here for test complete, you can use it for VB Script as well. You can also use Python and Perl. In our example in here, we'll use test complete. And the entire code for what we've done in here will be written for you right there. I'm going to go ahead and select all, copy this guy to the clipboard, and now let's go to test complete. I have no projects open in here. I'm going to create a brand new project in test complete. We'll call it test project 20. Sounds good. And we'll say next. And I'm just interested in saying I would like to use VB script as the code behind all that. Alrighty. Let's go to the advanced tab and test complete. Now I have no code in here in my first unit. I'm going to paste the code that I just got from C test. We'll say paste. And you can see there is two functions. There is a sub here for run and there is a sub here called the report passing the client to it. The important part in here, folks, is that .NET, which is an object inside of Test Complete itself, will need to hook up to an ex Xperia Test client, which is the name of the company that makes C-Test. It's called Xperia Test. So the, the only thing that you need to worry about in here, going to Tools, saying Current Project Properties, and you will notice in here there is something called the CLR Bridge. That CLR Bridge in here has to load the DLL that ships with C-Test so the test complete can work with that. So I'm going to go ahead and say browse files. And notice in here, let me show you where it is. 
uh, wherever you install the Express Test Studio, if you go to uh, Clients under C Sharp, again, if you're using Java or Perl or Python, there is others, but for C Sharp, there will be a DLL in here that is extremely important that Test Complete knows about. It needs to be added to the CLR bridges called ImageClient.dll, and that is really the only thing you need to worry about. I'm going to open that, and from now on, that project, test project number 20 in here, will always have a CLR bridge also added as the ImageClient.dll that comes from the Expert Test Studio. Sounds good? Now we go back and see what this guy did. All the communication between the emulator and um, the device itself are happening on port 8888. So my local host here, that's the IP address for my local host. But of, of course, the important thing to know that the port is 8888 is being used between the machine and my emulator as well. And other than that, it will just go ahead and communicate with the iOS USB, as you can see in here, and it will call the report client, which is the function that we have in here, and will start running exactly the same thing like we've done from the CTAS Studio. So let's see if that will work. I'm going to actually make this a little bit smaller so you can see it better. There we go. And I'm going to turn on my machine in here. Let's go back to where we were before. We wait there for a second to load the, uh, the main page, there you go, and I'm on the main page. So if everything goes well, I should be able to run this run VB script here in test complete, and let's see if that works. We'll say run current routine, sit back and relax, and let's see if the system, yep, it is working. It's gonna click on the by speaker, and as you can see here, test complete finished correctly, and it did exactly what I told it to do, and I have a full 100% green light for running this script test in Test Complete. Hopefully this was useful to you. You can do the same thing with Android, Blackberries, and Windows Mobile devices as well. Thank you and have a great day.